What is up everyone and welcome to the pack punch guide now what you have to do is you have to go up ahead and shock that little box thing Then you have to go and shock the little other thing I don't know how to describe this and that will bring down the crane and then you have to go around here And you have to pack a pack a bunch shock that last thing and that will bring you to do that So you have to then pick that thing up the little summoning key Then you have to go over here and pick up the fountain pen and then bam You've got the two items there. So what you want to do is you want to make up your way up the stairs here I'm sorry if this is a bit fat Fast pace, fast pace, I want to make this as best as possible and then you continue the route up there Then you put the little ritual thing down I hope this tutorial is making sense to people because that's all I want to really do Just help people get pack a bunch as easy as possible I did this in round 3 by, by the way, I pack a bunch by round 3 And I did it by 4 before, which you know is great Then it's going to drop this worm when you've done your ritual room it's kind of like working like a soul box, however you don't actually have to kill things. Like like powering the origin generators, it's smart. Very, very easy actually. So, yeah. Then for the next one, you can go up here, and as you can see you have to knock down the box by using the two grappling hooks as my mate showing up here. Then what you do is you go pick up that championship belt, and actually whilst you're in the little beast mode, then you go to the door and you smash that down. Now, so this is in the waterfront district by the way. Also, I may as well just point out that you can do these in any order you want. You do need to have some knowledge of the map before you can actually attempt these. I actually didn't complete it till I was level 12, and that was that was early stages though, but a Magua will also spawn there. So there, this is the third step, and that's where the item is because I didn't actually show any gameplay of it. This is the third like step, the third ritual that you can do. Remember, any order is allowed. You have to go shock at those three little stages there. And then you have to go into beast mode and teleport, grappling hook up there, whatever you want to do. And then go shock at that to open it right there. And then go do the ritual for that area. Then the last ritual which I wanted to do, which was footlight. I only chose to do certain areas because of juggernaut and things like that. But you want to go smash that box, that's for the swords which I'll probably make a tutorial about, and then you have to shock that, then might as well shock the perp machine, go for a cheeky little box smash, get the little item, and then you have to go to the cinema, now this is a very difficult to do all this in one go, so you've really got to be fast paced, and you can grappling hook up there, then you just shock the box like that, I thought that was like a speedier way to do it, and then you obviously go pick up the item and move towards the cinema, and then that's the fourth ritual done, so I'm sorry, like I said, if this is fast pairs, I'll leave a like full step guide in the description as well if I can remember, because I really do want to help you guys do this, and yeah, also you can add me as well if you want to play, and then bam, that's done, but no, there's one more step after this, yeah, I'm just going to tell you now, every two magwas, every two rituals, there will be a magwa that spawns, and now you want to make your way to the rift once you've killed that magwa, just for safety, just for safety. But I'd really leave a crawl at the end of this round and get as many things done as you can. Just want to mention as well that, that you actually can pick up as many worms as you want. So, in solo, but in two players, you have to pick up two worms, then go back for the worms. And in three players, obviously, you, you can only carry one worm at a time and you go put it back in the podium. Apart from, obviously, in solo, when you can pick four up. On four players, pick up one worm each and you're done like that. You can actually complete the easter egg, the pack a bunch, solo in a 4 player game. So that's good if you don't have any friends, like me, apart from I found this one person who is quite great. And I'd actually shout him out, so I'll leave a link to his description in his in his channel in my description. Or whatever, whatever I'm trying to say there. But that's pretty much the easter egg done. You have to do that final summoning thing as I've showed you there. And then that is the shadow man. I keep saying easter egg, the first part of the easter egg, done. And then you've got your pack a bunch. And I actually have some footage of me pack punching this first the, the, on round three as well. I'm, I'm trying to do it at the end of round two, but I'm pretty sure it's impossible as well. But like I said, if you knew me, I can't even speak today. Oh my god, what am I doing? But if you are new, then subscribe to my channel. I'll be doing a lot more things on Shadows of Evil and hopefully the Giant if I can buy it. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's me pack punch at round three. That is how you pack punch. Like I said, I'll leave a description guide in the description if you didn't know where that is and yeah goodbye